welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I'm going to do a what I eat in the day. It's kind of early in the morning, so excuse my low energy, but I'm about to change that by going to the gym. Um, I generally do not eat before I work out. Actually, I never eat before I work out, unless I work out in the evening, like later in the day. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna head to the gym right now, go get a nice workout on and I'll be back to show you guys my first meal of the day. Hey guys, I am finally back. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon um, and I just got back. I'm getting ready to make some granola. Um, I'm starving so I'm gonna make some granola and I'm gonna use it as a cereal. I can't even focus, I'm starving. Let me just show you what I'm about to do so that I can eat. I've already uh, preheated the oven to 350, by the way. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so for the oats, I'm gonna use, um, for the oats, <laughs> for the granola, I'm gonna use some rolled oats. I've got some maple syrup. I'm gonna add in some dried cranberries, some sliced almonds, some coconut flakes. Back here, I have some dried blueberries. Um, we're gonna do some cinnamon, salt, and olive oil. Oh, and I need some vanilla. I'm gonna grab that off the, the counter. And we're gonna put it all together. Okay, so I have my mixing bowl here and I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the rolled oats. I make this a lot, so I have no idea what the measurements are. I'm kinda just eyeballing it based upon how much I want. And I try to make enough so that I have this for the week, or at least for a few days. I'm going to go ahead and add some dried cranberries. Some almonds. Blueberries. Coconut flakes. And then I am going to go ahead and give that a stir. And I kind of just look and see if I want to like add or, well I guess add because I'm not going to eliminate, but if I want to add anything else, but that looks perfect to me. So I'm going to go ahead and add some maple syrup, olive oil, cinnamon, some salt and whoa just dropping everything um and I need to get some vanilla extra let me find it I don't think I have any okay I don't think I have any I don't see it here so we're not gonna add that um but I do want to actually add some chia seeds now that I look in my cabinet And I'm pretty sure I have some hemp, some hemp seeds in here as well. Add a little extra protein. Okay, and now I'm going to give this a good stir. You want to make sure you're getting the oats and everything evenly coated. I'm actually going to go ahead and add a tad bit more olive oil. And you can use coconut oil. I generally actually do use coconut oil, but I don't have that right now. So using what I have. And I added a little more maple syrup. And we're going to do a little more cinnamon. Give it a stir again. That looks like perfection. I've got a pan here. I don't know what that is. Um, I have a baking pan here that I have wrapped in foil paper. And I'm just going to disperse this onto my baking sheet. We're gonna spread it out evenly. I probably could have went for a bigger baking sheet, but whatever. I'll make it do what it do. Okay, that's what it's looking like. And now we're just gonna pop this into the oven. Um, I'm gonna say like 18 minutes, don't quote me on that. I'll write on the screen how long I actually do it for, because right now I don't remember, because I'm starving and I cannot think of time. But yeah, we're just gonna put this in the oven and then I'll be back to show you how I make it into cereal. 
Okay, so this is what the granola is looking like. It would help if I had some form of oven mitten so that I could slide this out. There we go. That's where we're at, and um, it would also help if I had a spoon in my hand. It would help if I was prepared. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna kind of flip this over or stir this around, mix it around so that it's evenly getting cooked. And I will let you know that this smells so good. My kitchen smells so yummy right now. I wish that they had a smell of vision, you know, so that you could smell what I am smelling. Because watching this doesn't do it justice. Like, you guys, you gotta smell this. Hopefully I'm holding the camera up. I'm trying to focus on stirring this, not making a mess. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back into the oven for about 10 to 15 more minutes until I feel it's nice and crispy. See you soon. Okay, back again. The granola smells like it is Dunzo's, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven and we're just gonna let it cool down and then I'm going to show you how I assemble my cereal. Okay, so the granola is nice and cooled down. I went ahead and chopped some fruits up that I want to top my cereal with and I'm going to use some coconut milk um, and I'm just going to go ahead and assemble everything into my bowl. This looks delicious. Mmm, yum. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this and then I'll be back to show you guys what I'm eating for, hello camera angle, what I'm eating for lunch, okay? See you soon. Weird camera, camera angle again. Um, I'm about to, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm about to make some lunch, trying to fit me and my lunch and it's hilarious because it's five o'clock right now and I'm making lunch, but that's my life. That's how it goes. I just eat when I'm hungry and I don't start eating until later in the day, but it is what it is. Anyways, I am going to do some avocado toast with some chickpea tuna. So let me show you how I assemble all of this good stuff. So first I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting some red onion and I just grabbed my sharpest knife. I need to sharpen all my knives right now, but this is a bread knife. I know, but I'm using it to cut an onion because you know what? It cuts it really good. So, you know, let me live. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this stuff into my bowl. Then I'm going to add some chickpeas. I already rinsed and drained these. These were from a can. So to mash, to mash my chickpeas, I use this uh, flour, what is this, a pastry cutter. <laughs> Thank you. I use this pastry cutter and I mash my chickpeas up. But you could do this in a blender or a food processor or whatever you have. Um, this is just easy for me, and actually I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> so, I've got green onion. I'm going to go ahead and add some of that into here. I'm going to chop up some grape tomatoes that I have, and I already rinsed these. Now I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add some sea salt some chives, and some lemon pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and then I'm going to add some vegan mayo. I'm going to use my favorite bread, um, what's the name of the brand? 
Dave's uh, Dave's killer bread. I love this. I love this one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and toast my bread. While my bread's toasting, I'm just gonna cut an avocado. Okay, pop my toast onto my plate, and I'm just gonna go ahead and smash some avocado. Whoa, chickpea salad. And I'm just gonna top it with some more tomatoes. And some more green onion. Kitchen is a freaking mess. Um, I'm just doing too much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and if I could grab this and hold this, I'm gonna eat this and clean up the kitchen. Mm. This is amazing. Okay, welcome back. It's dinner time and we're doing something strange with tomatoes in the kitchen. <laughs> so, okay, let me flip the camera and then I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So I went to the farmer's market on Sunday and I picked up all of these tomatoes and these cute little jalapenos. But I figured I could roast these and make a tomato bisque soup. Bisque? That's such a funny word. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I figured I could roast these in the oven and make a tomato bisque soup. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that right now. Let's get into it. So all I'm doing is, am I in focus? All I'm doing is just cutting these in half. And I'm leaving this on. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I am not leaving that on. Okay, and all I'm going to do is place the tomatoes face down on the baking pan. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Um, and I'm going to let them roast for about 20 minutes. Okay, while the tomatoes are roasting in a pot, I'm going to go ahead and get my onions and garlic ready. And the recipe that I was looking at online says that they use tomato paste, which I don't have, but I do have some tomato sauce, so I think I'm going to use that. Anyways, I just added some olive oil to my pot and I'm gonna let that heat up and then I'm going to saute my garlic and onions. My pan is nice and hot. And then my garlic. Tomato sauce I have and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit, okay, a lot of it. You know what, we're gonna add the whole jar. I'm going in with my veggie broth. I'm going to go ahead and season, add a little bit of salt, some black pepper, some cayenne pepper, um, what is this, some paprika, and some Italian seasoning because I did not have any basil. And I'm also going to add in some coconut sugar. And then give this a stir. And then I'm just gonna put the lid on it and bring that to a simmer. Okay, as you can see, my tomatoes are ready to come out the oven. So why am I never prepared with the oven mitt? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Ooh, those look pretty. So we're gonna take these babies out. Close this guy. And then, as you can see here, my soup is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the roasted tomatoes into this boiling pot of amazingness. Um, okay. Okay, honestly, hold on. Oh shit. 
there we go. <laughs> we're gonna give that a good stir. And we're gonna bring this to a slight boil. I'm also gonna add in some almond milk. Don't ask me how much I did. I just stop when Jesus says that's enough. But it looks about right to me. I have no idea. I've never made this before, so <laughs> kind of just winging it. But generally when I wing stuff, it comes out amazing. So yeah, I'm going to let that come to a boil and then we're going to transfer all of this into the blender. Okay, so I just did a taste test and that tastes phenomenal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this into my blender and we're going to mix that together. And yeah, that's it. That's soup. So I have some of it in the blender and I still have some um, of the broth in the pot. I'm not going to add the whole thing. I'm just going to add a little more broth to this and blend it up, keeping some of this. And then I'm just going to mix the two together. Okay. gonna stir it all together and let it simmer for about five more minutes and uh, yeah I think that's it I think that's done okay so I got a little fancy and I made some croutons if you want my homemade crouton recipe go ahead and click the link I'm gonna leave a link to the video that I made the croutons in um, up in the top hand corner but yeah the soup is looking pretty freaking good so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.